Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the procedure for direct terminating fiber into a CCH01, O2, or O3U. Be sure to closely follow all recommended safety procedures when working with these and other fiber optic tools. Remember, always wear your safety glasses. I'm going to demonstrate the direct termination using only the CCH01U housing. The procedures for the 2U and 3U are almost identical. The first step is to actually rack mount the hardware into your rack. For proper rack mounting procedures, please see our video rack mounting the CCH01U. Now we're going to remove the covers from our hardware. So we're going to walk around to the back of the rack, open the rear door, open the front door, and remove the covers. I'm now going to remove the internal strain relief bracket by lifting up on the plunger and pushing towards the rear of the housing. It'll pop right out. We now need to remove the sliding tray by pushing it all the way to the rear until it stops and then pressing in on the buttons on the side and sliding the tray out towards the rear. Put it on the work surface where we're going to work. I'm now going to take our tight buffered cable and we need to place two marks on it. We need to measure 48 inches and then from that 48 inches we need to measure an additional 24 inches. Okay, now that we place those two marks, here's the 48 inch mark, and this is what we're going to expose to, to access the 900 micron fiber on the inside. This mark right here is an additional 24 inches, and it's where we're going to strain relief our cable. Now we need to strain relief our cables to the internal strain relief bracket. And the first thing I'm going to do in order to do that is, since we're using small diameter uh, tight buffered cable, I'm going to cable tie our two cables together. I'm going to find that 72 inch mark and put two cable ties on the side. Now I'm going to take two more cable ties and route them through these two loops right here. Taking our bundled tight buffered cables. I'm going to set them on top of these cable ties. I'm going to line our black mark with the edge of the bracket and cable tie them down. Our cables now firmly and securely strain reliefed. Now at that mark that was 48 inches from the end of the cable we now, we now need to access our bare 900 micron fiber. This is a transitional strain relief bracket and this provides additional strain relief for when you're routing your fiber into the tray. When you order your hardware it's going to come pre-installed. So to do the next step what we're going to need to do is remove this transitional strain relief bracket. We do that by pressing it on the front, rotating it up and lifting it out. Okay, on the transitional strain relief portions there's two parts. There's the front and there's the rear. What we need to do is strain relief our tight buffered cable to these brackets on the side right here. I'm now going to take one of my tight buffered cables and what I need to do is I need to ensure that the 900 micron fiber side is at this portion right here and the jacketed cables on this portion right there. So from the front of the bracket you want fiber on the right side and you want jacketed cable on the left. Now before I completely tighten these down, I'm going to shift my jacketed cable over a little bit so that the end of the jacketed cable lines up with the end of the bracket. And push my two cable ties completely out to the side and tighten down. And we're going to repeat this for our other cable also. Okay, we've gone through and completely strain relieved our cable. At that 72 inch mark, we've strain relieved to the internal strain relief bracket that at 48 inch mark we strain relief to our transitional strain relief bracket. The next step is to go through and terminate your fibers. You can use either unicams, you can use anaerobics or any other sort of termination techniques. I'm personally going to use unicam connectors. After terminating your fibers, go through and remove the dust caps, clean both the connector and the interconnect sleeve and plug them into your connector panels. Now this right here is a sliding tray. And on the bottom of it, you can see etched into the tray is your routing guide. So we're going to follow that and we're going to install this into our sliding tray. 
I'm now going to reinsert our transitional strain relief into the sliding tray. And we do that by taking the two little latches right there, putting it into the slot, rotating this down, pressing in on the circle in the front, and put it until it firmly locks into place. Now, as you can see now, by having it so that the end of the jacket was on the front right, we now have a nice slack loop right there. Now I'm going to route the fiber going over to the B slot on this side. So I take my patch panel, and I'm going to take the 12 fibers and I'm going to route through this outer portion of this clip, and then I'm going to transition to the inner portion. And the reason we're going to the inner portion is so that we can segregate our fibers from our B slot and our A slot. So now following the routing guide, I'm going to transition over to the other side, but I'm going to switch it back into the outer portion of the slack management clip. Now grabbing our patch panel, I'm just going to install it into the panel clips. I'm going to take our excess fiber slack and route it again through the outer portion of the slack management clips. And I'm going to take fiber, the red fiber through the aqua fiber and go through the inner portion of this slack management clip. That way the fibers don't get bent when you're inserting it. And straighten the fibers up. I'm now going to take the panel going into the airport. I'm going to just place it over here in the front and I'm going to route the fibers through all the outer portion of the slack management clips. And you see by going through the outer portion, we're now able to segregate the different fibers. I'm going to do two complete loops. I'm going to take my patch panel and insert it into the panel clips. And take the excess fiber and do one more loop with it. And again, taking red through aqua, and now I'm going to insert it into the inner portion of the clip. Now after that, we're just going to dress our fiber up. Okay, as you can see now, since we went through and pre-measured 48 inches to each of the connectors, it lies in nice and neat, and with our slack management clips, we can go through and you can deal with any excess slack you have. I'm now going to reinsert the sliding tray and the strain relief bracket back into the hardware. So on the side of the tray, we're going to line the rails up in the housing, and we're just going to slide it back until it reaches that positive stop. I'm going to insert our strain relief bracket by lifting up on the plunger, sliding in the two protrusions and pushing it until it clicks in place. And reinstall the covers. Close the doors. and our fiber is now terminated. Okay, when we place that first uh, mark of 24 inches on our cable, what that 24 inches is, is it's a jack of the cable right here. Now, that's providing a nice slack loop that's gonna prevent damage if anyone should pull really hard on the cable. Nothing will happen to the terminated fibers. That's it. If you have any questions or recommendations for videos, please call us or write us at cablesystems at corning.com. Remember, Corning Cable Systems recommends getting trained in fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes. Thank you.